welcome to my youtube channel modi mechanical engineering tutorials so today i would like to explaining about the construction working and use of the centerless grinding process so basically start with the construction of centerless grinder so basically this will be used for the external cylindrical surfaces or you can say onto the tapered and form the surface onto the work piece so let us see the basic construction so that will be the lower side so that lower side it will be move into the to and fro directions and onto that upper side that will be another sliding moves and on that upper sliding moves that will be attachment of the regulating wheel so that regulating wheel it will be adjusted according to my shape and size of the job with respect to my work piece and on to the another side that will be the work rest blade so on that particularly work rest blade our work piece is being attached and that will be fixed or you can say supported by some another supporting elements so this one is our work piece material and for another that will be using of the grinding wheel so basically in case of the centerless grinding process two regulating wheel or you can say one regulating wheel one grinding wheel and in between that will be the work piece material for making the any kind of operations onto the external surface of the job so just you can see the work piece is not held onto the centers but drivers and other fixtures that will be hold the work piece and also provide the rotations so just you can see into the diagram of the centerless grinding process so basically centerless grinding process it will be consist of the grinding wheel regulating wheel and the work rest so basically work piece that will be on to work rest and both the side one side that will be the grinding wheel and another side that will be the regulating wheel so this regulating wheel it will be rotated into the clockwise directions so according to that rotations the periphery of the regulating wheel it will be attached with the work piece periphery so that will be rotating into anti clockwise and that will be also supported onto the work rest blade on another end that will be the grinding wheel so basically with the application of this grinding wheel that material removal take place in the form of the powders so you can easily doing an external work onto the cylindrical job tapered job or you can say to form the new surfaces onto the work piece materials so just you can see over here the work rest is located between the regulating wheel and the grinding wheel and just you can see the work piece that will be placed onto the work rest so this is our work rest plate so providing the support in between grinding wheel and regulating wheel so the grinding wheel is, is mounted in the wheel head which is rigidly fixed to the machine members or you can say the regulating wheel this one and the work rest blade that will be providing the basic support during the machining operations or you can say grinding operations so the regulating wheel is also controls the speed and fit of the work piece so whenever that will be the dimension is permanent changing so by the application of the lower side and upper side this column or you can say this supporting regulating wheel it will be moving into this directions for providing the feed now from the figure just you can see the regulating wheel is mounted on a side so that that will be its axis of rotation can be moved towards or you can say away from the work rest so that will be rotated into clockwise direction so that will be away side so that will be need to be controlling this distance by the application of the feed and this adjustment is required to accommodate the jobs of the different size of the diameters of the machines to be grind so the work rest 
have also adjust in a vertical directions as per the requirements of the different shape and size of the jobs so in case of the centerless grinding process if the axis of the job is too near to the center line so this one that will be the center line of the wheels of the job is well supported but not suited for the proper grinding so that will be the center line that will be the supporting red point so basically this peripheral will be passing through these lines so that will be having a good grinding efficiency also if the job axis is too far above the plane containing the axis of the grinding and regulating wheels the job is not properly supported so during that it will be not over here it will be just it will be far from this point the so like this suppose this one is my job so during the centerless grinding process that will be increasing the vibrations during the centerless grinding process so usually the height of the job center line from the center line of the wheels it will be kept half of the diameter of the job with the maximum of the 12 mm or you can say up to 12 mm so you can performing satisfactorily of by the centerless grinder process so basically the centerless grinding can be done by the different methods so first one i think it will be the through feed centerless grinding so in case of the through speed through feed centerless grinding process the work material that will be completely through the pass between grinding wheel and regulating wheel so it is useful for grinding of long shaft slender shaft without the shoulders so you can performing the centerless grinding operations with the through feed centerless grinding methods second one that will be in feed in feed centerless grinding process so in case of the in feed centerless grinding process basically suitable for axis symmetrical jobs so this grinding is similar to the plunge grinding or you can say form grinding processes here the regulating wheel is drawn back so that will be into this directions so that the job may be placed onto the rest blade and then it is moved onto the feet the work against the grinding wheel so that will be only touching with the grinding wheels so that would be disengaging during the in feet centerless grinding process so the end stop is kept to prevent the step jobs from the moving beyond the limits so you can performing with the only help of the grinding wheel and the third one so end feet centerless grinding process so in case of the end feed grinding which is suitable for the tapered job and basically to make the form tapered onto the workpiece material so workpiece is fed lengthwise between the wheels and that is ground as the advance until it reaches the end stop so the regulating wheel and that work rest are not withdrawing in this case of the end fit centerless grinding process now some of the advantages discussing for centerless grinder process and that will be this process is a continuous process and useful for the mass productions so here i would like to write down for mass production second one as a true floating condition exist during the grinding process the material required to remove is very less so during this process the 
MIRR that will be the less material removal rate. One more and that will be the workpiece being supported through its entire length. Suppose this one is considering as a one kind of cylindrical and that will be supported by this works rest blade throughout the length. So no deflections or you can see no chatters take place. Right? And uh, one more thing the slender workpiece or you can say small size or you can say fragile jobs can be ground easily. So you can performing the centerless grinding process without any kind of difficulties and that will be also increasing the accuracy as well as the good productivity into the productions. Size and specification control is good for the centerless grinding process. Less skill of the operator that will be also good things for increasing the productivity as well as the accuracy. No center holes or you can say no chucking or you can say mountings of the job onto the mandrails or you can say other holding devices are required. So that components or you can say workpiece only supported onto the work rest blade and from another two side from one is the grinding wheel and another that will be considering as a regulating wheel. So that will be supported in between these two. Right. So there is no additional support required for the centerless grinding process. So these all are regarding to the advantages of the centerless grinder process. Now every process that will be having some limit limitations and that will be the workpiece having a multiple diameters. So such kind of taper section just you can find over here. Right. So such kind of job that will be difficult to handle into the centerless grinding process and for hollow workpiece there is no any certainty that are the outside diameter will be the concentric with the inside diameters. So if that will be the different kind of thickness of the cylindrical job so that will be the control of that centerless grinding process that will be having a difficulties. So that will be negligible for such kind of jobs but you should prefer the centerless grinding process in the case of the mass productions increasing the productivity with the higher accuracy. So that will be all regarding to our centerless grinding process. So if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you very much.